a hammer in hand But up the doors There's something out there Is digging in his claws A bucket of nails A hammer in time Won't save me now If you're a singer-songwriter or a solo acoustic artist or somebody who just does the odd gig at a pub on a Sunday afternoon, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you how much time and money you've spent perfecting guitar sound, how much you've spent on effects pedals, how much you've spent on guitars, how much you've spent on amps even to, to get that sound that you want from an acoustic guitar. And then I want to ask you another question. How much time and money have you spent on perfecting your vocals? Today we're going to be talking about the Boss VE500 and why vocal processes can be a really important part of your live setup if you're a solo player. So I'd like to go back to the initial two questions I asked at the start of this video and that is how much you spend on your guitar setup versus how much you spend on your vocal setup. And if you're anything like me, you spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on your guitar setup versus a really minimal amount on your vocal setup. I mean, you might have bought yourself an SM58, a mic stand and a lead, and that is your vocal setup and that's what you take to gigs and that's what you use. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But as a solo artist myself and a singer songwriter, when you want to ramp it up a bit and you want to make your performances stand out a lot more, we need to start looking at vocal processing. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Boss VE500 and why this can make your live performances just that much better. So generally when people think of vocal processing, what comes to their mind is hard auto-tune, vocoder, and some of those crazy effects that you hear in pop music sometimes. But what I think about is compression, delay, reverb, uh, and DS's, things, things in that sort of vein. And luckily with the Boss V500, we get all of those things. So we get the crazy effects, we get the auto-tune, we get the vocoder, but we also get all the compression, DS's, reverbs, delays, all in this little tiny box. And as a guitarist, this is wicked because it just sits on your pedal board the same as a guitar pedal and it works in the same way that you'd use a guitar pedal. And this is made with the aim of acoustic singer songwriters or guitarists in general to use on their pedal boards. Um, it has a guitar input and it has a through output to go through to your amp or your PA system. So really cool feature. So you might be saying, what's the point of using vocal processing in a live situation? And the answer is really simple. You spend so much time in the studio working on your vocal sound and getting it right and getting the compression right and just that little bit of reverb and touch of delay and things like that. Why would you not want to recreate that in a live situation? Because in a live situation, generally people will just plug in their microphone and go for it without worrying too much about it. And then you step back in the studio, you again, you're tweaking all your knobs, you're getting it right. And the beauty of this VE500 is there's 99 user presets. So you can get those sounds right in the studio and you can put them straight onto here. That way you know every time you play live, no matter the venue, no matter the PA system, you're getting, going to be getting the exact same sound out of the VE500 at every gig, which to me is a no brainer as to why you would use something like this. So before we carry on to the demo of this pedal, there's just a few features with that I'd like to run through. The first one being that you can actually plug your guitar into this thing and we plug it in here and then we've got a through output which will then carry on to your amplifier or your PA system. Now the benefits of this is that when you are playing in a certain key, this will automatically pick it up from what you're playing on the guitar. So if, you're, if you play a few songs where you change keys in the middle of the song or anything like that, this is an invaluable tool for you because 
previously with the VE20 and um, a few other vocal processing pedals, you've had to manually input what key you're playing in in order for it to pick up that sort of thing. But this picks it up with what you're playing with the guitar, which is a really cool feature. And what also happens by plugging in a guitar is it gives you access to the talk box, the vocoder features, all these really cool little features that you can use your guitar for, which previously wouldn't have been able to. Now, the second thing that I wanna go through is the stereo outputs. I love that it's got stereo outputs. It just gives you so much more option when you're playing live, especially with things like delays and reverbs, and it's just gonna make your vocal sound a hell of a lot rounder than it would be if you're just running from your microphone into the PA desk and then using the, the desk reverb or something like that. So stereo output's really cool. The last thing is the actual pedal itself. Um, most of you who watch my sh um, channel will know that I'm a big fan of the RC500 loop pedal. This is part of the 500 series. So it is the same setup. You've got your three foot pedals, same shape, everything. So it's a very familiar pedal. And I think from previously using other 500 series pedals, I've found it easy to work with the VE500. Um, so I think the familiarity between the 500 series just makes it that much easier to kind of work around. And I think that's a really, really cool feature that they've kept them all the same. So you're probably getting a bit sick of me going on about how good this pedal is and you just want to hear what it does. So I'm going to perform an original song for you called Save Me and I'm just going to use as many of the, um, of the features of the pedal that I can fit into one song and hopefully you get an idea of how much this pedal can add to your live sound and with the post-production there'll be no um, there'll be no processing there'll be no compression there'll be nothing added on top it'll just be this will all just be what's coming out of the pedal um, at the time so hopefully you get an idea of how great this thing is Hammer in hand But up the doors There's something out there It's digging in his claws A bucket of nails A hammer in time Won't save me now is cracking on the heavy foot snow is melting but Nick and I stood a bucket of nails a hammer and time won't save me now
blood on my forehead There's blood in my mouth There's blood on my knuckle Don't make a sound Hammer in hand Bought up the dogs I saved you once It's my turn to love Ashes to ashes And now for a night Please save me now 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 So as you can see, I was able to create four different custom patches and scroll through those patches as I went through each part of the song. And although this isn't the approach that I generally take for one song, I just wanted to highlight that it is something that you can do. You can have different vocal patches for different parts of your songs via the VE500. Now, in order to create these custom patches, you can do it via the pedal, but it is a lot easier to do it via the software that you can get off the Boss website um, and do it on your desktop computer. Main reason being that if you want to get into the nitty gritty of the reverbs, like um, pre-delays, decays, anything like that, it's, it's a lot easier to do it on the um, desktop computer, but still manageable via the actual unit itself. So if I was to sit here and go through everything this V500 could do, this video would go for hours and hours and hours. I simply just don't have enough time in one video to go through everything that this pedal can do. But I really hope from the earlier demo that you can see what it is actually capable of and to have that versatility sitting on your pedal board is absolutely amazing. And to be able to take those studio sounds that you work on so hard and bring them into your life situation via something as small as this that just fits on your pedal board is an absolute game changer. And I think if you are a serious singer-songwriter or, or vocalist that is looking to kind of get that edge on everybody else, the V500 vocal processor is something that you should really, really look at.